Hello friends, I'm Peter SVP from Bulgaria, the developer of Colorblind FX Desaturation, a post-apocalyptic puzzle platformer in Lithuania. Help the Splatians blend the stolen colors back to the world and follow the plans of the evil. Explore Splatlands, squish slimes, discover upgrades, solve puzzles and overcome challenges while figuring out the way to shut down the evil government project Desaturation. It's time for yet another Ultimate Desaturation Guide, a series that explains everything about Desaturation. Everything about its chapters, challenges and items. If you got stuck on a certain puzzle, this guide will help you resolve it and proceed. I will even tell you some secrets, tips and tricks. Today, we're starting with Chapter 2, The Spark University. This is the first video of two about this area. The Spark University is a big facility with four floors, an atrium and a basement. And each floor throws at you something new to try and something new to explore. So let's go to the Spark and it's time to visit the reception. You go in and talk with Sparkle who will give you the main quest to enter the storage area. This is the map of reception. The key things here are this shiny object, the scanner and multiple passages that are still inaccessible because you can't jump that high. First, turn off the switch and jump over the water. You'll see this magenta color scanner. Climb into the restroom area, jump into the clear water and then into these blue and red pools to become properly colored. Scan yourself to open the gate, jump over the yellow pool and push the crate into it. Turn the power on and you will see that the second floor scanner is on with the floor and the water now electric traps. You need to be in top green, bottom yellow, so turn off the power and use the first green pool and the yellow pool to blend yourself properly. Now you are ready to scan yourself and you in a room with a big green slime that will drop you some coins, just enough to buy your way into the atrium. This is a map of the atrium. You need to climb all the way to the fourth floor where the storage area is located, but as you can see, this isn't directly possible. Entering the sporting food, you will notice that you can't do anything in this area. Back at the atrium, push this crate under the ladder, climb the ladder and complete the platforming challenge to reach the second floor. We can't enter the left gate yet, so we're going to photons and matter. This is the map of photons and matter. This level introduces the quantum labs holographic forest fields. You may notice that this room has only one entrance and a chest that is our main objective. Turn the power on, push the crate on the black pressure plate, climb up, turn on the red switch, push the crate on the red plate and jump on the other side, turning the red switch there on too. Now you see this holographic forest field puzzle. Its ending is magenta covered, so turn on everything except magenta. This includes the black blocks too, so you need to backtrack and move the crate to the black plate. You're now ready to enter the chest area and obtain the spring shoes, upgrading your jump once and for all. You can continue exploring photons and matter and are free to backtrack and explore as you like, but we are going to go back to the atrium and enter the mass and weight area. This is a map of mass and weight. This level introduces the quantum spring pad device and many physics challenges, including the power generator that powers the atrium and most of the university. In room 1, you need to lure the slime into the pink pool, break these crystal blocks, turn off the green switch and jump to the blue switch to open the gate. In room 2, you need to turn the power on first, then avoid the spring pad traps, jump on the last one and push the crate on the magenta plate. In room 3, you need to push the crates so they jump on the yellow plates. In room 4, you must first jump only on the yellow pool, scan yourself and go to the second scanner. Notice that this scanner is top blue, bottom pink, but the pink cable is connected to the metal ground with a cable. This is a trap. You need to push this crate into the pink pool so you can safely one on it without changing your bottom color. Then, go to the restrooms, paint your bottom part in different than pink color, scan yourself and you're done. Climb up to the top and you went to a room full with barrels and spring pads. You just need to survive this room and push barrels into the next room. In this room, 
You see olive brown pressure plates. You need to make barrels land on them, but you can also use your arm weight to press one of them. When the gate opens, you find yourself in a room with a giant machine. You need to place barrels and canisters on the plates to activate the machine. And you need only three, plus you. It's a survival challenge. You need to survive and kill all the slimes. Once you complete this, the atrium power will be turned on and you need to go back to the atrium. There, you need to climb up, turn the green switch, push the crate on the red plate, go up and turn off the sign switch and you are on the third floor where you can proceed to density and squishiness. This is the map of density and squishiness. This level introduces moving platforms. The level is quite straightforward up until the point you reach this place. You need to turn this red valve on. This will colorize the pool in red and then the moving platform will itself become red. Ride it and on an upper floor stomp the green slime to colorize the platform green. Ride the platform again and jump off of it when it enters the clear water. When you turn off the magenta switch, you can go right and ride this platform to reach the water challenge. When you complete it, activate the white switch which will open the way to the final room of the level. You need to time your jumps well, then activate the power and time your jumps well again, reaching the fourth floor straight into current and information. This is the map of current and information. So far, you can completely ignore like 80% of that level. Your only mission here for now is to fall for this Quantum Slim Remote advertisement and follow the storage area markings. After all, that's your main quest. When you climb this elevator up, you need to take out the battery. This next area seems very complicated, but you only need a way to pass through it. Lure a yellow slime to destroy the yellow blocks Place the battery on this terminal, climb up and turn off the red holographic force fields. Take the battery with you, backtrack and jump over that pit, then follow the storage area markings. Go to this room, turn on the PC and pay attention to all of the slides. Then go back, follow the markings and you'll be back at the atrium. Place the battery into the elevator slot, go with Sparkle and follow him into the storage area. Inside the storage area, Sparkle will tell you more about his past, his relationship with Aberon, and just then, Aberon will join you, give you the slime remote prototype, but most importantly, the instructions on how to open the storage area gate. This is the end of episode 2 of the Ultimate Desaturation Guide. Stay tuned for the episode 3 where we will enter the storage area and complete the Spark University chapter. If you like this video, subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram, X and TikTok. I'm Peter SVP on every social media. If you don't own this saturation, feel free to buy it on Steam, Itch or Humble, and of course tell your friends if you really like the game. If you stream or make Let's Plays, I will be very happy if you can help this saturation reach more people. It's really not easy to publish a video game alone without the help of the big game publisher, so I really rely on every one of you to help me telling the world about this saturation.